Hey everyone, Argus here, thanks for tuning in. Today I am showing you how to defeat the first Warden. I will cover the first Warden's moveset, which will show the most opportune times to attack. In addition, I will show how to unlock the special version of Persistence. Please note that I am on New Game Plus, so I have access to most weapons, armor, and the gauntlet. My build is a Cleric slash Faith. The Warden's health is divided into fourths. Each time the Warden's health is depleted by a fourth, he will shed a piece of armor and become faster. The fourth and final phase offers a new attack, which I will cover in the move sets next. First off, we have a Charge and Shield Bash. Roll to avoid this attack. Next, he has a Slash combo. One to four, depending how close you are. Simply roll or keep your distance. If you're close to him, I feel like you'll just do one to two. If you're farther away, that's when you see the three to four combo. Then, he has a Sword Slam with a Shockwave. This offers the best opportunity to deal damage. The move is very telegraphed. Once you see him start the move, run left to avoid the shockwave and hit him with a heavy running attack. As I previously mentioned, the Warden's health is divided into fourths. You need to be extremely careful when damaging the Warden around the fourth marks. He will shed his armor and can hit you. As you can see after this hit, he does just that and he hits me. Now it didn't do any damage to me, I'm not sure if it's supposed to. The best way to avoid this is to use a light attack to damage him right around that fourth mark and then to run or roll before he sheds his armor. When the warden is in the final fourth of his health, he gains a sword, twirl, or dance. He spins in a circle nine times. This can be very tricky to dodge, so keep your distance and watch out for the pews. In new game, I kept getting hung up on the pews and I would just get wrecked by him. If you manage to defeat the Warden without taking any damage, you unlock the orange, or better version, of Persistence, which sends a Tremor with a one-handed heavy attack. Now that we know the first Warden's moveset, it's time to look at the footage from my fight, and I was not off to a hot start. He charged and shield bashed me. Fortunately, it did not do any damage. The best way to defeat the Warden is to be patient and wait until he does the Sword Slam. The Warden will not move for the duration of the shockwave. When immobilized, hit him with a running heavy attack, then run or roll away. Don't get too greedy and try multiple attacks. Wait for the next sword slam and repeat. Since I am in new game plus, I have the gauntlet, which helps. You could keep your distance and spam him the entire fight. If you are in new game, you will not have the gauntlet. Wait until the sword slam and make your move. If you are a strength based character, I would highly recommend getting the orange version of Persistence. It has a strength scale and a socket. I would recommend putting a luck rune to up the strength scale, thus dealing more damage. The Tremor ability is awesome to have. You can attack enemies at a distance. If you are playing as a Faith or a Rogue, the sword is not that valuable unless you plan on upgrading your strength stat, or if, like me, you just like collecting all the special weapons. If you are new to Lords of the Fallen or games of this genre, this could be a very challenging fight. On New Game, it took me 9 times to defeat the First Warden. Honestly, I was ready to quit the game altogether. If you are struggling with the game, the best advice I can offer is to learn the moves of your opponent. Each opponent has a specific moveset and will eventually offer an opening. Except the annoying Shield Knights, just blast them with the gauntlet. The First Warden's opening is a Sword Slam. This is not a hack and slash game or a button mashing game. Attacking enemies is rather slow, so be patient, dodge, wait for an opening, and then make your move. One final note as this fight comes to an end. If you defeat the Warden on new game and use Persistence to deal the final blow, you'll receive the Duo Onto Others trophy. I found this out when researching for this video. Unfortunately, I already beat the Warden. Maybe I'll try again a new game plus plus. And there you have it. The first Warden is down. I always love the animation after you take out a boss. It's like you're consuming their power. Now, if you remember, at the start of the fight, I was hit with the shields. And then after I depleted one fourth of the boss's health, I got hit when he shed his armor. Both the hits didn't do any damage, so I still received the orange version of Persistence, as you will see when I pick up the loot. What was that? One of those lords.
towards Kazlo keeps talking about. I have to scroll all the way down in my inventory to find persistence. I dumped most of my attributes into faith, some in vitality, and endurance. I did notice when comparing them, the orange version of Persistence is stronger, it does more damage, it does a total of 50, compared to the normal version, which looks like it does only 48 damage. I appreciate you watching and hope that this video helped. I will see you next time.